Double Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the NBA. So y'all check this out. Now, let's talk a little Blake Griffin. Right? Last time we seen him, Blake Griffin hit about 45 on uh, OKC, right? And, you know, me being someone who, you know, was watching the Clippers pretty religiously with Blake Griffin during his tenure, you know, watching the Clippers. I probably seen 90% of the games Blake, Blake Griffin played in, okay? And so watching his improvement over the years. So, you know, going to Detroit, you know, brother don't really like no Detroit. They, you know, I... Did like me a little Isaiah Thomas, right, back in the day, you know, patting my game behind him a little bit and stuff like that. Maybe a little Dennis Rodman, you know, stuff like that. Maybe a John Sally on that team, but I didn't like no Bill Lambeer. Who did? You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't really no Detroit. So Blake Griffin going to Detroit, it's hard for me to watch the games. I do every now and then. But it made it easy to look at because we was playing Russ and them. Or better known as OKC. You know, there's a triple double watch always. So I told you I tuned in to Russ, and I normally tune in to Blake Griffin over the years, watching his improvement. Now, let's be real. We talk Blake Griffin. Anybody that's been watching him more than three minutes, well, we give him a year. Know that this used to be a real high flyer. I think Blake Griffin, I'm just going to say what I think. I think Blake Griffin got at least three of the top 10 dunks on people of all time. I'm going to give him three. Because, first of all, over Gasol, Right, that one, don't even try it. And he turned the name Mozgov into a verb. He Mozgoffed him, right? <laughs> right, turn that into that, you know what I'm saying? So you're looking at that, and we ain't even got to talk about Perkins. Slam no Perkins, that was that one for sure. That's probably number one if you take Vince Carter, because that one didn't. Vince Carter's over that dude, in, you know, when he's playing for the uh, the national team, Team USA, ducked over a seven-footer, and I mean, really jumped over him. That's probably the baddest dunk you want to see, but it didn't happen in the NBA. So Blake Griffin is up there. I mean, we know we know, we know there's a whole lot of good dunks in over in the years. You know, Sean Kim, Dominique Wilkins, and the like, Dr. J, you know, cradling over your boy Michael Cooper. There's a bunch of awesome dunks, but Blake Griffin has a few of them. <clears throat> and so when he got in the game, you know, he's not shooting free throws well. Mid-range game is not all that good. Low post game was pretty good. And got better because the dude could use the left hand, had a good drop step, things like that, playing with his back to the basket. And that even got better. Then he extended it to the mid-range and started banking shots, things like that. Well, and you see that over the years. You see his free throw percentage goes up. So when I'm watching a game like the game against OKC and I'm seeing Blake Griffin hit 45 points and shot 9 of 14 three-point shots and Blake Griffin being denied on the three-point line, denied, playing denied defense on Blake Griffin, who I've been watching long enough to know what the hell that means. How the hell is he getting denied on the three-point line? Right? You couldn't even say that sentence three years ago. Hey, you denied Blake from getting a three. No, it was somebody better help down here on the block because one of them ain't sticking him on the block. Right? You're going to have to help. That's why Blake Griffin was getting a lot of assists because he was getting double teamed on the block. Now we out here because the rules done changed and we got the big dude out here with all his slow post game, standing out here by a three-point line and getting denied. Why? Because he has worked on a three-point shot to the point where he hit it off the dribble. Excuse me? Don't you suppose to go, you know, just hit him when you're wide open? Got the nerve to hit a couple off the dribble. <clears throat> that means that's total confidence. That's a whole lot of work ethic on display here. It's absolutely incredible. And I'm giving the love for being able to do so. Right? That's a definite of a, a huge improvement. And in free throw shooting, he shot like a 14 from 16 free throws. Right? This is a guy who couldn't shoot free throws. We're talking 60% and that kind of stuff. Right? Back in the day, partners with DeAndre Jordan, you know what I'm saying? Then he left DeAndre Jordan, started hitting him after a while. Now he's hitting him at a high percentage, right? And shooting threes. Now, awesome. It's all props to his work ethic and improvement. you got to give somebody love when they do things like that. Now, he's got to get Detroit in these playoffs because that's not sure yet. But you just want to just make sure that people focus on what you've just seen, the improvement of a player. Now, if you want me to talk about do I like it, that's a whole different video. I probably ain't going to get into it because I start ranting. Hell no, I don't like to see Blake Griffin out there on a three-point line. Irks me. 
Got everybody shooting all these low post players down here that can handle their business on the block. And we had good battles against bigs. While well, our bigs is outside somewhere shooting threes. You know, we shoot. Two, 20 years ago, you wouldn't let them in a seven footer trying to shoot threes and they ain't, ain't dirt and whiskey. You ain't even letting in the gym. Now all of a sudden, they're they going to be extinct, the low post game. Because of these damn rules. It's ridiculous. I don't, I don't, I mean, Blake is hit a three every now and then, but I ain't trying to see Blake hang around there. I want to see Blake drop step somebody, reverse pivot, pump fake, and go around him and maybe still yoke it on him. Right? He ain't got the ups he had, but, you know, things like that. I'm telling you, the NBA has a problem with athletic plays. Right? Everybody's shooting threes. It's, the analytics has made us think we shoot threes. Man, ain't nobody trying to see everybody shoot no uncontested threes all day. But I ran about it every time. Let's keep it Blake Griffin right now. Whew. Relax. You still are watching the game. The way it is, you love the NBA. Yeah, I do, but I'm going to complain about the way they're not calling. Right? They're not calling all this pro offense and got big dudes, seven foot two in beats, doing a swing through when he goes through the lane and stuff like that. It's ridiculous. Right? But Blake Griffin, if I can focus here, Blake Griffin's improvement over the years is definitely on display. And a lot of other players, like a Brooke Lopez, has also said, well, if you want me to shoot threes, I ain't really never shot them before, but if you want me to, well, I'll go out here and do this. Even though I am one of the best low post players in the game. We're not seeing them. I'm hoping, my hope is that the playoffs come and we can start seeing a little low post game, low post action with some of these guys who have awesome skills down there. We have a little footwork that some players have, right? And they're not being able to display it because they got them out there setting high picks and just rolling straight to the basket or standing out there. And they shoot the three if you wide open because the analytics say you should. You know, stuff like that is going on, right? But these guys have some talent around the basket. And it's making also players that only do that and, you know, not stretch to, to the, to the um, three-point line, these big guys, like a white side and things like that. They're coming from the bench, about to be extinct, Okafor. Poor dude, man, low post game, man, low post game for days, right? No hops, but low post game for days, man. It's instinct, this game, because they messed it up on him. Changed it right on, man, I've been doing this 17 years. Oh, well, we changed the rules. You got to stand out here and shoot threes. Man, look, can I practice? Wasn't doing that. It's unfortunate for that reason. But at the end of the day, there are players who have made the transition, who have put in the work, and we're going to give props to one of them. That being Blake Griffin, one of the best dunkers we had in the league, has turned himself into an all-around basketball player. And he's still, even though he's in Detroit, he's still a joy to watch. So y'all check that out. Dome Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.